Hey y'all, this is Geek Girl coming at you with uh, the a look at Jeffrey Dahmer. Okay, uh, if you don't know who Dahmer is, um, he was a serial killer back in the 80s and the 90s. and uh, Yeah, it was a big thing back then. But let's take a look at him, shall we? Uh, he was born May 21st in uh, 1960 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Dahmer uh, was said to be an energetic and happy kid until a surgery before his fourth birthday. After that, he became more hidden and quiet. Even though he had a few friends in grade school, he started collecting dead animals and trying to put them together. Kind of like a Frankenstein thing, if you will. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, that that's like the first signs, really, of a serial killer back in the day. And even now is hurting small animals. And I guess he was just fascinated with trying to put them together. So, I mean, it was kind of weird, but, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, in 1978, his parents divorced uh, because of constant arguments and an affair. His mother got custody of his younger brother, and Dahmer, being of legal age, he moved on and moved out and did his own thing. You know what I mean? So, all right. Uh, his first victim uh, was a hitchhiker named Stephen Mark Hicks, who was almost 19 on July 8, 18, uh, 1978, after his parents' divorce. I mean, it was like right after Dahmer turned 18 that he got this guy. It was his first person. After that, Dahmer uh, went on to murder 17 men and boys from 1978 to 1991. Most of the murders took place in between uh, 1989 and 1991 when he escalated to much more violent things. His murder uh, being most his murders being most gruesome, uh, involving rape, necrophilia, and cannibalism. Like I said, this guy was a real uh huh. I mean, he he took the cake. He really did. I mean, he was one of the most prolific killers we'd seen up until that point. Um, this, I'm not going to read this entire list uh, here on the left. This is his list of victims, all 17 of them. His first one obviously being Stephen Hicks in 78. And the reason I'm not going to read all of them is because there's a few names that I'm going to butcher and I'm not going to do that and be disrespectful to uh, the uh, poor, poor, poor person who was killed and their families. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. But his last kill, if you look, uh, let's see... He did his first kill in 78, he did one in 87, so he had like a nine month cool off period. After that, he went completely kind of crazy. He did two in 88, uh, one in 89, and then 90, he went to one, two, three, four. He did four in 90. In 91, he just blew up. He could not sit still for nothing. I mean... In July alone, he did three. Four, if you want to include the one he got caught with. So, And on July 22, 1991, he was caught when his latest victim escaped and hailed police, directing their attention to his apartment. Uh, there, they made their discovery of the body parts, pictures, acid, and a horrible smell. Uh, the cops immediately arrested him. Which, of course, what cop wouldn't arrest him? I mean, that's just too much evidence right there. And what I understand about him is when they asked him what was happening, he just told them blankly, yeah, I handcuffed him. But he didn't give any explanation why he was trying to harass his next victim or anything. And then they just happened to find the pictures and had the smell, and then it's kind of blew up from there. After his arrest, his trial took place uh, the following year in January. Uh, the trial itself took uh, took almost four months with uh, Dahmer pleading guilty. After serving a little over two years in prison, Dahmer, a reborn again Christian, left his cell at 8.10 a.m. to do his assigned work, followed by two other inmates. By 8.30 a.m., Dahmer was found beaten with a metal pipe. He died in the, hospital, in the prison hospital an hour later. Uh, Dahmer dead, mass murderer, beaten to death by in a bloody attack in prison. That was the headline in Green Bay. Um, Christopher uh, Sc Scaver, uh, like I said, I butcher names, y'all know this. Christopher Scaver uh, confessed to Dahmer and Jesse, Jesse Anderson's uh, murders, claiming God told him to do it. And uh, Anderson being the third man who followed Dahmer to his duties that morning. 
So, this is my review of uh, what happened with Dahmer and whatnot. If y'all like it, let me know down in the comments. Uh, y'all make sure you have a good day. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. We will see y'all later.